guys, welcome to the Giant Leaps Facebook page and our constellations group about making connections. Uh, my name is Bethany and I'm a first year, or I'm a second year occupational therapy student at the University of New England. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and make comments about questions as I go along, definitely feel free to. I can um, kind of man that chat and that goes for every week, but I'll try to make sure I say that at the beginning each time. Um, so basically, since COVID-19 began, I've been feeling a little um, personally like I can't connect around food in meals the way that I could pre-COVID. And so um, over the next five weeks, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a dinner party from beginning to end, everything um, that you would need to do that, including our last week will be about making a meal. And so for... This week, we're gonna start with the first step of making a dinner party, which is making invitations. And we've come up with this really cute little dandelion um, invitation that we're gonna go over how to make together. So to begin, I'm gonna go over the materials that I have in front of me to make this. Um, I have a glass of water, a paint palette. And if you don't have a paint palette, don't worry, you can use um, a paper plate or uh, a regular plate, just making sure that you wash everything. I have a pen, I have a Sharpie, and I have a paintbrush. And I tried to get one that was um, pretty small, but also um, not super small. So somewhere in the middle, this one's a little older, and you can see the bristles are starting to um, come apart. Um, if you don't have a paintbrush, I've actually found that a little bit of sponge or paper towel works well. And either way, you're gonna need a piece of paper towel um, to blot your paintbrush if necessary. And then I have black, red, pink, and purple paints. Um, you can definitely use whatever colors you'd like. These are the ones, um, purple's my favorite color, purple's a giant leaps color, so that's what I found to be best. And then the last thing, or I have two more items in front of me. One is this box. Um, you need something to work on so that you don't make a mess, and I find that this box lid works well for me, but newspaper or something else could work well for you. And then finally, I have a piece of paper. And so what we're gonna do to begin is we're gonna fold our paper hot dog ways. And I'm just gonna take, and my paper's actually pre-creased a little bit, but you're just gonna take and fold it. And I find that once I line up my edges, the best way to make sure I get it even is to keep my fingers and then use my thumbs to press. And then when you open the card, um, and this one's actually pre-written, I've written a message to the person I'm inviting, and I'll just read it to you guys quickly. It says, dear mom, you are cordially invited, cordially just means friendly, to a dinner party at my house on July 19th, 2020 at 6 p.m. Please let me know about any food allergies or preferences. This will be a socially distant party. I look forward to seeing you then. So love, Bethany. So you can go ahead and make your name there and say whatever you'd like and any additional information you'd like. Um, you can also include a little note to the person. And then to paint, what we're going to do is we're going to actually backwards crease this card. So um, now you can see the words are on one side, the blank is on the other, and I'm going to press it so that um, you guys can see the words. So I have the blank sheet of paper in front of me and when I fold up the flap the words are facing away from me okay I'm gonna fill my paint palette with some paint and for this project you really only need a dollop like the tiniest I mean that looks like not a lot of paint but I promise you only need a little tiny tiny bit I'm gonna do a little bit of red my pink may or may not work, let's see. A little bit of pink, and a little bit of purple. Oop, that was more purple than I bargained for. That's okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by taking my Sharpie, and I'm gonna write, you're invited, in my neatest handwriting across the top. You can 
write this in fancy letters if that's your thing. I just used print, but you can use script or uh, bubble letters might be nice. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to make a, in about the middle of the paper, a little on the low side, I'm going to make um, kind of like a little lake shape, just like a little blob. And then I'm just going to go ahead and color that blob in with my Sharpie. And then once it's all colored in, um, you can go ahead and make some lines coming off of it. And they should be all different lengths and angles and sizes. And um, I find it's important to make sure you have some small ones and some big ones, um, that they go different directions. And now it looks a little bit like a spider, doesn't it? Okay, so that's plenty. And so now we're done with our Sharpie and our pen. And I'm going to take our paintbrush um, and I'm going to start by making a stem. And I think my stem is going to come right like this. So I'm going to take a little bit of black paint. And I'm going to come right out from the center and make my stem. Like I said, I chose purple because it's Giant Leaps colors and it's what I like, but you can use whatever colors you like and potentially you could even use green or like a green sharpie for the stem if you had some green paint. Um, so there you have it. One stem and then I'm just gonna rinse my paintbrush off in the water and then use my paper towel to make sure that it's nice and dry. And then this is where this project gets really cool. So you don't actually have to rinse your paintbrush again. You're just going to go right from the red and then into the pink. So now I have a little bit of red and a little pink. And I'm just going to poke right on there uh, on the end of one of my little black stems. And then I can do the purple. And I'm actually going to add some red to that purple dot, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to go back to the pink. And so you're just poking between the red, the pink, and the purple. And it doesn't matter really what order you go in. If you feel like you have too much paint on your paintbrush, you can dab it on your paper towel or dab it. Um, I'm using this box lid, so it doesn't matter if I get a little bit of paint on it. Um, and so I'm just dabbing. And it's nice and relaxing, and it's a good way for me to uh, just take some time and have some fun. It's a really simple craft. Um, so everyone should be able to find something about it that they uh, like and enjoy. And so I'm just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing all over. Um, making sure that I have enough paint. Um, and if you mix the colors by going straight from like the red to the purple, you get kind of a fun color mix going, which I really like the look of. So we're going straight to the purple. There's a, my purple's very runny, so I keep having to dab it, but that's okay. Straight to the pink. Let's see, pink. Maybe make one of these, one of these. Anytime you run out of paint, you can go back and grab some more. It's not a big deal. It's all about what you want and what you like. Oh. And before I finish this off, I actually wanted to show you guys. Um, so before I said that you could use your paper towel, and so I folded my paper towel until I have a little bit of a point, and I can go dip this right in my red paint and then a little bit in my purple, dab it off a little bit, get a little more red, a little more purple, and then I can actually use this the same way I was using my paintbrush to make um, some dots, and they look exactly the same. So you won't even know that they're different. Um, dab it off. So there you have it. Um, and you can always add a few extra. I don't know that I made my uh, dandelion petals quite as big as I would have liked. So for now, I can just 
add some extras, and then I can connect them later with my Sharpie. And so then I can let it dry, and I've been letting it dry, um, you know, like that. Um, but there you have it, uh, a card. And eventually um, I can go back through, and this is the one I did the other day. Um, you can see I just connected some extra lines for the ones that are kind of out in space right now. But that's the, that's the end. And now I have a set of cards, one for my mom, one for my dad, um, who will come to our dinner party in four weeks now. Um, I will see you guys next week, um, which is, should be uh, July 28th. Um, for another uh, Constellations, our group about making connections video. And in the meantime, definitely check out all the other exciting things happening at the on the Giant Leaps Facebook page. There's lots of crafts going on, and it's just going to be so much fun over the next five weeks. I can't wait to get to know you guys, um, and have a great day.